cheating to that baby's the girlfriend. That means God has done a big job. Me, I see even this one, even Mavis, all of them, they are my daughter. I'm not reject anyone. I'm not abandon anyone. We are waiting for Mavis physically. I know she will, and God will take care of that girlfriend. You just pray for her, for God to restore, for God to give her a husband. That is what I give you as a church. Let God restore her also. I know God, wherever she is, the spirit of God is touch her, is leader, is bring silence. Once she will come, peace will come. And we're gonna see reconciliation. What God starts, he will finish. Hallelujah. What God is that in the life of this? Me, I was not there. I didn't know them. I know Mavis and then the men come. Today, they, they become now three. And God is number four. What God is that? Let God finish. Hallelujah, church. Because people are Mama Hester, no, that's what the girlfriend has did. Physically, the girlfriend I bring to the light. But let God judge this matter. I can't support anyone. I'm not support because I don't know her. I can't support Mavis. I don't know about Annie's opinion. Is what I did ask, and God is say, I will take care of Mavis. She will come in the church. They will pray together with this mama. This mama should be there. They will greet together, and everything will be in silence. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Church, we are praying the God of restoration, Mama Goti. Yeah. What enemy I destroy for 10 years? It's not even Mavis I destroy. Enemy I destroy for 10 years. When the husband come here where there is a light, God will bring light again. Hallelujah, church. You know when in the darkness, you can see everything. It's a beautiful woman. She can't see the beauty of the wife. She just go. Not only me, she was having a lot of lady. But today God are bring for the sick, for the safe of the children. Kids, they still there. They are suffering Burundi. With their parents, with their mama, with their papa. Put in your position. Are you sure God's going to accept you? Papa, leave you. Go other side. And you, mama, you are crying. Are you sure? God, God always supports the woman. Is what God has done, but we pray to God to restore this marriage and to bring peace. That is the opinion that no one must call me and give up this, 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 uh uh. Because they didn't call me. The one who called me is the one who cut this matter. Because some people they're against, other they're against. I don't want that people to call me. Let God finish this matter. The one who finished this matter. Am I Audrey come? We need to be everything in the transparency, everything in clean. Mama Unjan. Yes. This mama, she's a cosa. She's a best friend for Mavis. She's a... Beginning of everything. Okay. She's the one bring the... The wife, she was a Muslim. Me, me, the girlfriend, she was a Muslim. This mama, she brought the girlfriend in the church. Hallelujah, church. Do you know the way God has done? Don't, don't even complain. This mama, they invited by the teacher. She come in the church. She's a cosa. She go also to Mavis. She said, maybe she was a Muslim. Maybe she's come to my church. So when maybe she's come here, the girlfriend, and the girlfriend also brought it this man. Are you there, church? Is that the way the chain is going? Is the way the chain, mama? This one's the one I bring your husband to the light. It's not a rival. Love her because if today God has used this mama as a bridge to bring that girlfriend, and the girlfriend, today we see, and today you are back in Cape Town where there's a white people. Huh? And the cousin is there also. This is a cousin also, the cousin for, for the wife. If today you come back because of this mom, God has used her as a bridge. She bring the girlfriend, and girlfriend will bring your husband, and today you come back in Cape Town. Do you understand, church of God? What God has done, leave it for God. So through this one, is the way all day. And one day we're going to stand here with Mavis, the girlfriend, all of us are going to stand together, and we're going to bless God. Because God has restored, and God has been. Ma, do you see everything? Because I know it's your best friend. Come and report. Yeah, I know you. The way you convince her to come to Christ, you're going to talk to her again. God has declared, say, this is the wife must come back to his eh, marriage. Let the will of God be done. And maybe it's, God is says going to take care of your friends. God bless you, Mama. Go sit. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God is good. So that is these people, their husband and wife. We are waiting for God to speak again for the renew of the val. When God accepts everything, or God's gonna say, We don't know if we're gonna wait for me for Mavis, or God's gonna do it. I don't you know. I'm going again to pray the will of God again. Whatever the boss will tell me, 
I'll announce the church the date that you're going to renew this uh, val. But this marriage, they're already together. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I want to say today, this is a healing center. When the marriage is destroying, you come in this place, God is restored. That is this church. If you don't believe in the restoration, that's why we are not praying the living God. The work for God is to restore what enemy are destroyed. Mama, it's not maybe it's destroy. It's demon. Demon are entered long because 10 years will separate. Uh, demon are entered long time ago. This second chance, I want you to be vigilant. I want you to be a woman of prayer. What God has restored shall remain permanent. Keep it in the prayer. Be the woman of prayer. Humble yourself. Don't consider the past for your husbands. The Bible said the past is, I'm speaking as a prophet before my God. The past is over. Don't remind your husband about what happened in the past. Don't remind your husband because of the past. The past is over. See what God of this house has done. He has done a lot of things. Save your God. Fear God. Be a woman, a, a, a capable woman, a virtuous woman. Because when God has brought in this place, not for mistake, to bring you there and come here. Oh, only God. Husbands have become a born again in four months and today the wife is in Cape Town. That means a speed restoration. A speed restoration. My last word, love your husband. Put your husband. Make him as a father. Humble yourself. God who has done this work. He said I must tell you, humble yourself. He said your, play your role as a wife. Give God a good report. We want to hear and see the good reports. I know from today, you will be together. You will be together. You will be as a husband and wife. You go stay together. But the renew of the vow is only when the boss accepts it. Do you understand, church? Yes. Because the husband is stay there and the wife she stay by his sister. Was waiting for what God is speaking. You will be together, you and your husband. And then they renew. We are waiting for God's decision. Whatever God is going to speak, and we'll come back again to the church. Anytime, whatever the message is come, we're going to come back. I know God has started this work. He will finish. What he starts, he always finish. Me, I'm not going to finish this matter. God is going to finish this matter. Do you understand, Mama? Forget everything, Papa. Forget everything, Mama. Start a new journey. Start a new road as a new beginning in the marriage, as you're starting the new life. Make yourself as a, 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 a fiance, a new, a new marriage. And I know before they finish, God will bring your children back. Your kids they will come. All kids they work for Mavis. Let God give her heart. Let God. God, no matter, she's not your enemy. Through her, God, I use her to bring a restoration. So Mupende. The photo for who? <laughs> you see the picture for get to caution. Yo. She, she don't know yet because she don't know yet. She did it. She don't know anything. Yeah. God started this work. It will finish. You people don't fear nothing. Trust in God. And God will take care of Mavis. She will come. God will give also a nice husband before end of this year. Hallelujah. And she will bring the husband in the church. And they're going to introduce. My God, I know my God. This work is not finished here today. Kids, they are coming. And Mavis is going to receive a husband. This year, people, they will bless the God of this house. Can you come and congratulate this come? Congratulations. He has done it for me. He has done it. It's a new song. It's a new song. And you will come back with a new song. I praise my God. It's good. Congratulations. He has done it for me. He has done it. He has done it. It's a Congratulations. See what the Lord has done for you. Congratulations. Congratulations. See what the Lord has done. Congratulations. He has done it for you. And you will come back with a new song. 
Hallelujah. God is good. We are saving the God of restoration. Because when you come in this place, no matter the divorce, if God allow you to go, you will go back. It's what we, as we know, we bless the God. So we're going to announce again, we are waiting for the third part. The third part that we're going to hear for the boss, the owner of this house, the owner of this place. If you allow me to bless, to renew their aval, we give them time for them to prepare. Yes. Maybe they'll do some ceremony. The fam family, they will come. You know yourself. They renew after 10 years. Whatever is going to happen. But we need to hear, to know the opinion of God. If we're going to renew before Mavis. Or if we're going to wait for Mavis to come back. But from now, their husband and wife, they are come back together. Today, I release them as a prophet. I release them. You are not going to be anymore to your family, to your sister family. You go back to your husband today. God has done what God has started. is going to finish. I want you and me to pray for them. You and me must help me to pray for this couple. After that, I will delegate Mama to Mama Vero and Mama Francine. Stand up. Mama Francine and Mama Vero for more advice, more counseling. Counseling because Mama Francine, God, I give her a gift according to the way I hear to church. She advises people, women. And people today, they are in the marriage. And Mama Vero, she specializes the leader. I want these two mama to take care of this mama advice. Because when you're outside, you come back again. You need people to support you. Yeah, because we are going to start saying, that girlfriend, what happened? What happened? So when they, these two mama are take care of them, of her, they will make God to make her again a virtuous woman. Yes, a virtuous woman. She's the one listening the hard verse. So I give you that, Mama Francine, and I give you Mama Vero, the two mama. They will talk with you. You will chat. They will advise you because according to the way we talk Friday, you need someone. Sometimes we don't have a time, but these people, they will help you. To, it's like you become a new, new person again in the marriage. Mama Vero and Mama Francine love this, Mama. I know you know Mavis, but for me, this is not your problem. Today, I introduce you to this, Mama. Please advise. And when Mavis come, I will send you again to you. You take care, we'll advise. And when we meet like this one day, we sit, we take picture, we say glory be to God. There is God in heaven. It's going to happen soon. It's going to happen. Maybe it will come soon. We stand like this and we're going to say, thank you God of scorn. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you God of our father, TV Joshua. <laughs> he has, we imitate him. Hallelujah. So church, are you ready? Want to pray for this? From today, don't sit separate. Uh -uh. Sit close now. Sit close. <laughs> yeah, don't oh mama they had us. It was before, but now you must be together. It's not like a, we were raised in the marriage for I don't know how many years. Since 2009, they are together. They tell me every since 2009, they was together, but they separated since 10 years. Calculate yourself how many years. <laughs> so, that, uh, uh, it's a loss, mama. Since 2009. But separated, they was together in 2009, uh, 2010 years they separate. So see all the hair, all this year. And the kid, they need also affection for parents. They need also, all children, they need to be with their parents. We pray to God to help and more those before end of the year. Let the children come and we're going to bless. Mama, I'm talking about God, Papa, Mongariani. Church, me and you want to dedicate them into the hand of God. Let God help them. Let God deliver them. Let God give them the spirit of love again. Amen. Sometimes love can go on. Eh? Yes. Yeah, affection can go on. Yes. Affliction, affection, it can go on. Yes. But they must know it's coming slowly, slowly. Yeah. <laughs> affection can go, but it can come slowly, slowly. Be patient. I'm speaking in parable. Yeah. Are you there? Yes. Uh, <laughs> it can go on for 10 years, but it's going to come. Eh? Slowly, slowly. Mm, <laughs> <laughs> it's not true or it's true? It's true, true. 
Are you, I ask, is that true or not true? true. Ten years affection is gone, but slowly, 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 until God will bring love when you separate ten years. If you're going to say, I don't want that, but when you say God has done it, you will see God is going to restore hmm? today. <laughs> tonight I need a twin tonight. Hallelujah. They are not so of twin tonight. <laughs> Church, let us pray. Pray that God who has done this work. Let God give them love, forgiveness, unity. Wait. Before we start that process, the Spirit of God tell me, let them ask for forgiveness. Let them forgive themselves for what has done. Let Papa start ask for forgiveness before God of Esther, before God of synagogue, and before the church, and before Mama. Let Papa ask, because Papa is the head of the house. The one that destroys, starts all those things, Papa. So let Papa forgive, apologize, and Mama, after that, Mama also going to ask her forgiveness. Let Papa talk. Hallelujah, church. Amen. I stand here in front of God, in front of the church, to ask forgiveness from Almighty God. Because I blame myself for everything I did, because I did it unknowingly. Mm -hmm. I was young and stupid and foolish. Now that I start to, to learn, is here when I learned that Divorce is the fault of a man because the women have been giving to us to direct them, to control them, and to teach them. But I blame myself because I didn't say, I didn't play the part of a man that I supposed to be. Sure. To ask God's guidance, to put God first in every step of my life, I took. I took marriage as a joke. I took marriage as child's play. And I was young, foolish. It, I was in the world which I didn't know God. I was busy with the things of the world, drinking, womanizing. Marriage, it was like a, I, I watched in the movies. It was not a priority and God was not there for me. After everything, just give me beers. I must drink. I must go out, celebrate, go to the beach, go to what, what? Yeah. Yeah, for this marriage to be broken first, I blame myself. And I ask God for forgiveness. I ask if my wife to forgive me all these years. And I don't, when I forgive myself, when I forgive her, I don't only forgive her, I also forgive my children. I forgive also my future to, to come. Yeah, so that from now on, I put everything. Now I don't put my drinking first. I don't put my old habits first. Now for everything I'm going to do in my life, I'm going to put God first. I'm going to ask God's opinion first. Even this reunion I'm doing, financially I can be ready, but I'm waiting for, for, for God to interfere first. I want God to tell me when is the proper date, when is the proper time. Because before I used to put my money first. When you tell me about car, just buy a car. When you tell me about wedding, hey, don't even ask contribution from family. Shame. I'm ready. I didn't ask God. That's why even the house is starting to, to build since 2010. Shame. It's still on the foundation. I had the plans of building a double store. But because I didn't involve God, the building is still on the foundation. Because I didn't put God the first foundation of my life. Amen. That's why all my forgiveness. Amen. I, I say God to forgive me because I blame myself for everything. Jesus. Yeah. Clap for Jesus. <laughs> I want to ask my husband to forgive me for everything I did to him mm. and to let him go. I never fight back. Whatever he's doing, I was just saying, okay, it's fine, you can go, I don't care. But actually, I was scared. I was even closing my house and crying a lot because I didn't know what to do. So now, I ask him to forgive me. 
and they must prepare himself. I'm not going to let him go. Amen. No matter Amen. how much it's going to go, I'm yes. going to tell him, come back. Come back. Amen. So, that is it. I don't have too much to say. Amen. Clap for Jesus. <laughs> Do you understand that so every time I said the husband go, go, but now he, will next, he is not going to let the husband go. So women, we need to be careful. He was not gay, but now he said, I'm not going to leave, leave my husband to go. Let us pray as a church. Please, we need photo, please. We need photo, please. Not the camera, photos in the phone, please. Let us pray for them. But you start, you always finish. Lord, I come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to disappoint me. Oh, Jesus, you are too faithful to leave me halfway. What you start, you always finish. Lord, I come to realize. You are too faithful to fail me. What you start, you always finish. Lord, I come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. Father, thank you. You never fail me. You promised me, as I will never disappoint you. People can disappoint me, that's not you, God. Father, thank you because what you are starting this couple, you will finish this matter. Thank you for today, Father. I'm here to pray for them. As they're going back together in the house, Father, let your presence be with them. Deliver them completely. Whatever plans that enemy have planned for this marriage, I cancel by the blood of Jesus. Father, let your will be done. Your will already be done. There's nothing I'm going to say much. I leave them in your hands. Father, leave them. Make them the best marriage. Let the people see what you have done. Let the people come because of this marriage. Let people know you, God, because of what you have done. Let the world understand that you are a powerful God. Hallelujah. People don't say this marriage is not going to work. Father, you have done, Papa. You have confused our enemy. God of synagogue, I'm proud of you. Father, I say thank you. You have delivered them from the darkness and bring them where there is a ladder. Father, thank you because this couple, there's no divorce anymore, no separation anymore. No not trouble anymore. Father, put each and everyone in his position. As the Bible says, husband love the wife. Give the fruit of the love. May this husband love the wife. But as the Bible say, woman submit your husband. Father, make this woman a submit woman. She submits before the husband. Father, make the love. Bring love in this marriage. Bring the peace, Father. Understand the Father. Make them to forget the past. As you say yourself in Isaiah 43, the past is over. I will do new things. Father, we are here to support what you are starting. We are here to support what you are starting. Protect this marriage. I cover this marriage in the blood of Jesus. No, we perform and then this marriage shall prosper. What enemy is divided, Papa? When we are put together, no darkness is going to divide again. I protect it. I cover this marriage in the blood of Jesus. May God make you a best couple. May God make you a best couple. I pray for conversation, love, unity, understandable communication in this marriage. God of Hester, you never leave me. You never leave me in my marriage. For 20 years, you protest my marriage. I pray, Father, let these people also be the example. Be the example. Be the best that is. Thank you, my Lord. Amen. I leave them in your hands. I protect of the children when they are burundi. Protect the children. I believe before end of this year, let the children come. Let the kids come. I pray for Mavis, Father. Remember where she is now. Provide for her. Give her the strength. Give her the courage. What you are starting, Lord, you are going to finish it. I leave them in your hands. What you put together, no man is going to separate. I bless you. I protect you. Go in peace and come of a testimony. I declare today, you'll be like husband and wife. May God of restoration, God of second chance, let this God walk with you, lead you, direct you, speak to you, protect you, and give you victory. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Love for Jesus.
Jesus. Papas, I give Papa responsibility to start by Apostle the servant to take care of the men because he said he was not to play his role as a father, as a husband. Please, I want Papa to take care of the Papas also to bring me back again as a father, to bring me back as a husband again by hard verse, by take care of him, control him. That is the responsibility I give Papas, starting by Apostle. Papas, please take care of the men because he said he didn't know the value of the marriage. Now he understands, but he needs also guidance. God has done his part. Also a church, do your part also. I want to hear also the reports. I'll control and check them in three, four months. The way they are going according to your, your role that you're going to play. And the God that told me yesterday, the one I'm praying, say, Esther, what you see, you're going to see it a lot in the synagogue. Yeah. Hallelujah. He said, I'll make you as a Deborah. You are a judge. They will come a lot. I want to give you wisdom to handle the matter. Hallelujah. This is a beginning. More they will come, but you and me is only to pray. No talk, Mama. We don't support any kiss. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. After 10 years of separation, I want to ask them to kiss themselves, to remove shy. So when they go in the house, they will be free today. Hallelujah. Are you there? We are doing it. We are prophets, lead and delegated by God. Hallelujah. One, two, three, go. Let's go. Yes. After 10 years, nice kiss. Did you see that? Yes. After 10 years, let us go. Whoa! Clap for Jesus. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Come. In three months. Mama, don't leave this church, Mama Nina. If you leave this church, even God in heaven will surprise you. I don't know, but I just want to ask us as a woman. Because where God is big, you bring the husband everywhere, they could make it. If you leave this church, even God of this house will surprise you. He has done. Eh, 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 eh. That's what I say. Kanjani. How? How God, what God has done? Even me, surprise me. But today you are there from Burundi, that race. Hey. Back to your position. Ah, Mama. <laughs> eh? Without with husband to send any one sense, Nelly. No husband didn't send even one sense. She just got a miraculous. Mm, mama, miraculous journey. The husband don't even send one rent. He's gonna do. We are saving the living God. There is God in this house. <laughs> oh, there's a two pie people by Mama. Uh -uh. If you want to run, go. But as in two people, we receive our blessing. They say they, to me, they come from the big church, the wife, before she go to big church where there's everything. But the husband didn't deliver. He said, Mom, eh? You go to Tanzania because of him. My God. <laughs> She go to Tanzania to seek for this thing. Mama, what are you gonna give God? Only Mutumikie too. Ah, she go to Tanzania for the husband. They were separated, but you go seek for deliverance. Husband. time is finished because <laughs> we are running to go to the funeral <laughs> you continue again sorry we continue again the next time i will come when the spirit of god tell me is the next time i'll come in front if the spirit is quiet i'm not gonna come out this matter will stop it today until the holy spirit must speak to us again concerning their renew of the before i start my testimony i want you to know to, to be particular of the anointing in this house, 
if you look at the people, you will not, you will look at, if you look at a few people who are inside this church every day, you will not receive it. This church got anointing that bigger church doesn't have. When you, as you are here today, there's something I want you to know as you're sitting there. I want you to do. Ask God, fix it for me. God of Esther, fix it for me. I don't know what you want God to fix for you. She prayed and she grabbed with all her heart from the anointing, from the prophecy, and it came to pass in her life. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for what God has been doing in my life. You know me, I like singing, eh? But Papa Mike, thank you. You know, this testimony has been piling, piling. You know, last year, Mama tell me, I, I think we came for, if I'm not mistaken, there's a prayer we came here. Mama said, I'm going to pray against accident at my car. So, when I was driving, if you had a driver, driving on highway, 120, I fell asleep. Sleep. When he said somebody's feeling that sleep, sleeping, I fell asleep while I was driving. Suddenly, breeze blew me. I wake up. And this thing keep on happening. When, I'm, when I park my car to rest, to sleep, I sleep. But when I enter step, driving, sleep will come. I said, God, it's not me. It's not my passion. I took my anointing oil. I, my plate number, that's what I normally do. My plate number, back and front, my engine, my steering. I keep on praying. I said, God, I cancel this accident. It's not my portion. That one passed. I was driving. It was past eight to nine in the night. I was carrying somebody. At N2, my car quenched. And there's a big truck on my back, my side car, my side. If I stop immediately, car will knock my car. So what I did? I said, God, God of Esther, control, be in control, be in control. So that car, the one who was following my, my back, slow down. When I push my car, those people who were my car helped me come in the middle of the road. Push my car away, push my car away, my fuel pump pull out. I said, God, <laughs> these people, they are liars. They are, they are all liars. They can't do anything. I want to tell you, to be a member of this ministry, my car was giving me a problem. I said, God, I said, I haven't been a partner of this church. Father, this money I'm spending in this car, I will not spend it anymore. I will give it to you. This car, this problem with this car will stop. From that day, I made that covenant. So from that day, I started being a partner of this ministry. That car never give me a problem any longer. That money I'm spending every time, I'm spending in the house of God. So I want to tell you, that money you're spending going to the doctor, make a decision. Speak to God concerning that. And God will see you through. My last testimony, please be with me. I want to call somebody who is to me as a sister. Because when God bless you, I will rejoice with you. When God heal you, I will rejoice with you. Because I need that. I need that grace. Sister Bella, please come, please. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. I have a father who never, never failed me. I have a father who never, never failed me. Jesus is my father. He will never, never fail me. Rock of ages, never, never fail. You know, I love you as a sister. And you are my sister. You know, sometimes when I see you, you're feeling bad, you're feeling like this, I ask you what is the problem. Sometimes you're sick. But what is today's day? Today is 21. Okay? I'm rejoicing. Because the plan of enemy didn't happen. They give her date to die. But here, 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 here she are, here, here she is. You know, why I'm saying, you know, when a prayer, when a message comes like this, me myself, I don't sleep. I keep on fighting that. I say, God, not in this ministry. And here she is. 
when I saw her this morning, I was smiling. Amen. There's something I told her. I said, this year is your year, my sister. This year will not pass you. Amen. You don't know what to trust God. But enemy has failed. As they have failed to kill you, they give you dead. They give you dead to die. But here she is. Amen. I want you to rejoice with him. Amen. Thank God. Thank you thank for Jesus. all you have done. Glory be to the holy name. Amen. Amen. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. Um, what Papa Colin said, uh, I didn't know what he was about to say. He said, when I call your name, don't be shocked. So I thought he was joking the way he always And then, um, like he said, that was weeks ago. Um, I, was, I just wanted to complete what he said. I passed through deliverance here. And that was real. The way I was feeling, I went to the doctor. I spent my money that I wasted. I regretted. I was even sent as a tithe to Mama. I regret, but it is well. Uh, busy since the whole December. I did not come to church. I've been working, working, working. And then when I came to church, after like a few days, I started feeling tired, weak, headache. If I get up, I get nauseous. I have to lay down. I was off work for days. But I've rested like two days, three days after the busy. I stayed home, rested, eat, slept, and I was fine. After a few days, then I felt sick. The sickness, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what was going on in my body. I just had to sleep. If I get up, nauseous, headache. Four days, no off work. And then on that Sunday, my, I said to my sister, I'm not going because I'm feeling like I just sleep. She said, okay, it's fine. You can stay. Our mama is, I'll pray for you even on the phone. And then I lay down because I was ready to come. She said, no, just get up. Let's go to church because I saw some things, some strange dreams about you. Let's just go. I said, I'll force myself. If I get tired, I'll go in the Sunday school and sleep. Yeah. The way I was sleeping, lady, I would never do that in front of public. I felt like sleeping. That's deep sleep. I would never do that in public for crying out loud. I'm sleeping and I don't know what was going, offering time, whatever. I was all gone. And then she woke me up, said, go sleep in the Sunday school. I went, I get up, feeling the same. Mama, when mama was praying for everyone, I got, I came, she prayed for me, went through deliverance. The, as soon as I sat down, before we left, I felt my body light. Because when I was coming, I was still heavy and sleepy. Like an old lady. That was like, no, like really, for crying out loud. This cannot be tiredness. A normal person, a young lady sleeping in public. For crying out loud, God forbid, I will never do that. But that was spiritual. So mama prayed for me. I felt as light as possible. I became free in my head. I got up. I cooked. We all ate. And I was shocked. I was like, why am I feeling like this? No headache, no feeling nothing. The following day I went to work and I really thank God. Just wanted to complete what Papa Colin said. Thank you, Jesus. I'm grateful to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. As you come... We go to the hospital we say we don't see anything. We try our best. And uh, my brother take him here in Pretoria for treatment, but it doesn't work. Then uh, I start coming here. When mama said you must write the list what you want to ask to God, it was the first, the first thing to ask God for healing for my father. Yeah. Then uh, when we are playing here, I was also sending my sister there to pray every time. It was on the October, I think October, or I can't remember, we got to the mountain. I was also praying for him. We came back, then maybe some of you, you remember, Mama said there is another one calling in Malawi, talking about he want, she wants to kill herself, it was my sister. Then Mama pray for her. Now she's fine. Yes. Now she's going to church, but before she was not going to church. She just said, yes. I'll go another time. Yes. Only the last overnight here, I was here. We played together. 
When we finish, I opened my WhatsApp. I see my father was dancing, but he, he was not dancing, he was not doing anything. Even to go to the toilet, he just be everywhere. And the results, Mama said, we will see the enemies. Now my own sister, she was rich in Pretoria, now is suffering in Malawi. Praise the Lord. Clap for Jesus. Our God is good. Hallelujah. Remember I tell the people, there's a lady calling me, she says she wants to commit suicide. It's, it's her sister. She, she called me in my